Today we're gonna correct these blown highlights in the sky with other edits in Snapseed and use some important tools in Lightroom app to get this result. Before starting, a big shout out to my channel members for the support. This is a mobile shot. You can see the limitations of it with results like blown highlights in the sky which could be distracting especially in this case. I'm gonna try removing those with a simple trick. Here in Snapseed, first using the rotate tool, I'm gonna flip the image and save it. Now reverting back to the original state. Going to the double exposure tool, I'm gonna add the saved flipped image and move it around here so that the dark clouds cover the blown highlights. You could try without flipping the image too, but the clouds could be repetitive. Setting the opacity to 100 and going to masking screen. With the added image hidden and the brush value set at 100, I'm gonna tap on the bright spots to reveal the dark clouds from the new image. Fine tuning the masking to get satisfactory results. I will cover the other spots too, this time using the original image with double exposure. Again moving and placing it to cover the bright spots. Masking work to reveal the clouds. Now some basic tuning to flatten the image in tune image menu. Reducing the highlights for more details especially in the sky here. And increasing the shadows to get details from the darker areas. Next I'm gonna darken the image a bit with curves. In the masking screen, removing the effect on the structures to make those parts pop. Also on these greens to get some light into them. Again with curves, brightening the highlights here. Applying the effect in the masking screen on the same areas to pop them more. Now we'll be applying selective filters separately first on the golden color parts to pop them more by increasing brightness, saturation and structure. Going to masking screen, making sure to remove the effect on the rocks above. Similarly applying selective filters separately on the red roof and the greens too.
Now some dodging with the brush tool. Exporting the image to Lightroom for some major edits with selective tools. Going directly to the masking tools in Lightroom app. Here first I'm going to add radial gradient filter. Dragging to make a radial shape. You can see the red mask where the effects will be applied. But I'm going to invert the selection so that it affects only the outer parts of the circle with a soft feather. Opening the light menu for this radial filter, reducing the exposure to make the outer parts more darker. Duplicating the same but removing the invert option so that the effect applies only on the inner part now. Going to the color menu. Increasing the temperature to make the parts more warmer. Adding one more radial gradient in the form of oval shape around here to replicate the evening sun hitting the structure. Increasing the exposure for more brightness. Adding some haze by sliding the haze slider to the left in effects menu. Also more temperature. Individual color tuning in the color menu mix. Blues towards cyans. Adding more cyans to the greens. Moving yellows towards orange tones. Coming back to masking filters and adding one more radial gradient on this bright sky and adding more temperature. Also some orange tones. Going to color grade and make the highlights more intense with warm colors. The final result here. Hope you found some useful tricks here and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.